back home at the castle for another episode of the Matt Pierre Career Mode series. How's it going, everybody? We continue action here today with the season winding down. We've already taken care of securing the division title, but we all know there's a little bit of work to be done before we head on to the playoffs. If Matt Pierre can become the first ever 2,000, 1,000 player, that would be phenomenal. It's kind of a side goal we have here as we continue on. 11-2 and two is a pretty good record, the best we've ever seen in this series. And we pick things up down 7 to nothing. It's definitely been a while since the team had an opening drive touchdown on us, but here we are. Pierre falling ahead for two. I'm looking for BJ Sankey to hopefully bounce back this week. Whoops. I'm trying to get open for him. Oh, man. I don't know what was going on there. I guess I wasn't holding R1 for the route running controls. But I want to see BJ Sankey bounce back a bit more this week. With the interceptions lately, I want to see him hopefully play at his best before the, the real games happen. Third down and 15 now for Sankey. The pressure's on again. Now the offensive line having issues. Wow, 14 to nothing as we continue on. And for some reason, I thought last episode was the three interception game. It must have been the one before. Sankey wasn't bad last episode. First down and 10 as we're actually trailing by two scores for the first time in a long while. Last play of the quarter as the Texans have controlled the clock. This one is complete to Matt Pierre for a first down. From the 45, we'll try throwing again. Sankey, sideline, got it, Russell Keaton, first down. And no, we're not going to forget about the ground game down 14 points, especially against a box this soft. First down, Pierre. Sankey to throw it now on first and 10. Watt brings the pressure, or maybe it wasn't J.J. Watt. It was 99. I'm not sure if he'd still be a Texan in uh, this year. I mean, that would be, what, 12 years or something? I don't see the uh, the brace on his arm, so I don't think so. First down and 10, Sankey. Matt's the underneath option. Oh, I thought that might get picked. 51 dove, and I thought he might have it. We'll try sweeping to the outside on this one. Pierre out toward the five yard line. We'll run the stretch now. Uh-oh. Maybe not flag on the play. Thank you very much. Definitely not J.J. Watt, but it is a face mask. On first and goal. Sankey with no chance. An extra half second, and we probably get Matt Pierre for a touchdown, but those half seconds or lack thereof are what make the plays in this sport. Second down and goal, dumping this off for Matt Pierre, who has no shot. Third down and goal, Sankey misses Njoku, who makes his return this week after Tanner Hearns had an amazing episode last time around. So just a field goal for us. First down and 10 as we take over. We'll start a two-minute drill. I don't know why I always start my two-minute drills here with runs it doesn't make any sense I don't pay attention to the clock I'm like it's first down we're gonna run it's just my basic like thought I've been doing this for such a long time and I've played a lot of games if you haven't noticed second down and seven Sankey has the time and that's caught second down and nine Sankey oh that is probably not gonna help us out too much Third down and 11, Sankey, find Matt, he got this one, and we'll get out of bounds. 46 seconds on the clock, Sankey needs an outlet, and he can't get the throw off, he's sacked. What's up with the Texans blitzing us so much? I feel like I have to block a bit for Sankey, we want to get this win first and foremost. Winning above all, of course, Sankey... This is really tough. That's at least three or four sacks on Sankey already. We'll be blocking for a lot of this game, which isn't good for our receiving production. But neither is losing. Third and 27. 
Oh my goodness, it's picked off by Horton. And Sankey's the last line of defense. What a rough half here against the Texans. Thankfully, they're not a playoff team. Down 17 in front of the fans. You expect to pay good money to come to a playoff game. We better do a better job of selling them on actually watching this team in the postseason. Come on, London. Who was that team in the first half? I don't recognize them. First down and 10. Oh, man, that lack of speed is sure evident against these good defenses. From the 40-yard line, oh my goodness. We are not playing at our best today whatsoever. We're also not playing at our worst. We've seen far worse games, but we can't be playing like this. We're better than that. Everyone has one of those down games ahead of the postseason, it feels like. Mealy escapes with the football and cuffs it up. Texans take it. It's just one of those days, everybody. You know I'm not about to give up, though. I can convince myself we can get back in this game. 23-3. to Sankey. Don't scare me like that. How does Keaton sky up for that? That was incredible. I personally don't want to see Russell having to work that hard for a football down 20 points. That's risking injury. Hands off Matt Pierre. Six yards. Second down and five for Sankey. This time he floats out, finds Maley, and he hangs on to this one. Third down and 10. That throw makes Njoku dive, and he makes the catch for a gain of 17. Definitely the accuracy is not all the way there for Sankey today. He's missed a few really easy throws from the 23. An open look. Oh, it gets knocked down. I was talking about the uh, drag route underneath. They're showing blitz, and I'm not going to take a chance. Ah, oh, they only send four. Oh, well. Sankey across the middle. Mealy inside the five. Let's not quit now. How can we get this into the end zone as they load the box? A little spacing here. Maybe Matt on a dump off. Wouldn't throw it to Matt. How about that? Touchdown, Corey Coleman. We are now uh, not on the board. We had three points, three lonely points. But now it's a two-score game. 23-10 to 10 as London takes over. Texans continue to stack the box, daring us to throw it so they can send the rush at Sankey. We will throw. Out for Njoku, two yards. Two minutes on the clock. Sankey swings it out of the backfield. Pierre with running room. Breaks out the spin, but gets wrapped up and escorted out of bounds. 55 yards receiving for Matt Pierre, not quite to the 1,000-yard pace we need, which is probably around 80 or so yards a game at this point. We will update that once the game is over. A.J. Lloyd was hurt. I don't want to see offensive linemen get hurt either. Second down and eight. Njoku got it. Sankey and I saw that at the same exact time. Late third quarter, a draw play now for Matt. Getting into the second level, he picks up nine yards. Hand off, Matt will try to bounce this one and get into the end zone. Touchdown, Matt Pierre and the London Black Knights. We're trying to pull off one of the biggest comebacks here in the series. And now we're within one score. The defense has stepped up for us. It's still 23 to 17 as we take over here in the fourth. We're in the driver's seat now. The second half has been a big turnaround. Hand off Matt Pierre. This play could have been so much better. I realized that. From the 44 yard line, Pierre's covered, but now uncovers over the middle. First down. And fighting his way forward, he's not done. He's chasing that ring, and he'll do whatever it takes to get there. 92 yards receiving for the great Matt Pierre, a future Hall of Famer. 
from the 18-yard line. Sankey floats it out. Hold in by Hearns for the tying touchdown. London is here. What's up? This is awesome. How many games have we had where we just struggle and we play terrible football in the first half? It's happened quite often. I know it turns into two game episodes. Well, today, I think that's the biggest comeback of the series. Now, we still got some work to do. The game doesn't, uh, they haven't handed us the victory yet. 24 23, though, we have the lead. Okay, we have the Texans driving down with Deshaun Watson. And on third down, they get one yard. They're going to get the lead back. What a great game. 26 24. Keaton and Maley, the two receivers here on first and 10. Sankey in trouble, and he gets sacked. About four minutes on the clock. Now a tough second down for us as Matt hauls this in and gets a good chunk. Matt is over 100 yards today, so it's definitely helping out the quest for, of course, 1,000 yards receiving. Third and eight here for Sankey, a key third down. He gets the protection, and a wide open man. He actually throws it to Maley. If he had strong arm that one to the outside, we had a man with running room. But you know what? I'm not going to complain. Now, many of you talked about last episode how we got in field goal range, and that was all we needed, but we still threw it to try and get a touchdown. Maybe we'll play it a bit slower today. If we can get in range, it's no guarantee. And Joku out to the slot here on third and ten. We'll help protect Texans. We have two patrolling the middle. And we got it behind him. Corey Coleman into long distance field goal range. We'll try to run now. Force them to use timeout. So oh, we got to get a little bit closer though. We'll try a stretch to the left. And we're going to beat him out there. Good block Olsen. And we got a little bit closer. Now, in this situation, they just, they're able to uh, use their timeouts to get the football back, so we obviously need to throw it because I don't want to get a field goal and then watch them just win it. So, third and eight. This is Holden. Matt Pierre has the first down. Let's go. We have so many receivers that do damage down the field. It's fun to be the little check down option in this offense. Pierre makes the catch, secures the first. Now, we're in the driver's seat. A minute 10 to go. Hands off Matt Pierre, and that gets us even closer. Let's run this one more time with Matt Pierre down the center. And we got it to the 12. We'll have Sankey take a knee right here and give us a chance to win it as the clock expires. Oh, wait a minute. You're not going to let me stay out there? Why? All right, it's Sims. Oh, okay, that just scared me. I don't know. I thought they uh, simmed it and we missed. But no, we're going to call a timeout with three seconds to go. At that point, it might honestly sim. I don't know. Oh, I guess it is going to sim. And we won. The blanks there means we won, right? London wins 27-26. We pull off the biggest comeback of the Matt Pierre Career Mode series here today. Wow, what a game. Obviously, we've never done this before, so I wasn't exactly expecting us to pull it off. That was quite the win, down 17 at halftime, and we storm back. London showing that we do belong as one of the top teams in the AFC. B.J. Sankey, 330 yards overall, an excellent day for him. On the ground, Matt Pierre, 78 yards and a touchdown. And Matt Pierre with nine catches, a buck 13 in the air to go with it. I'm a little sad I didn't get the trophy, though, for getting a win after a 17-point comeback in the second half, but I think I'll get over it. Next time, we take on the Miami Dolphins at New Miami Stadium. London is now 12-2. We'll check on where we could be as far as playoff seating goes. Well, how about number one? Chargers are right there with us. I don't think we have a head-to-head -head tiebreaker. Nope, we never played them, and we never will here in the regular season anyway. So I guess we'll just see what happens as we continue on. 
But now for Matt Pierre, a quick stat update. 1,882 rushing yards. Definitely on pace to get to 2,000. And in the air, 845 yards receiving. So we're looking for a buck 55 in our next two games. And as a bonus, 13 catches gets Matt to 100 receptions on the year. So there's a chance for some real greatness here in the last episode or last season of the Matt Pierre Career Mode series. And we're just getting to the good stuff. So stay tuned to the channel, everybody. Please smash that like button and subscribe. I will see you with more Matt Pierre soon. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day.